All right, we're gonna take a little cruise in a 1953 MGTD Mark II. That's a competition edition. Out of 30,000 cars, they only made 1,710 Mark IIs. So that's kind of cool. And this one is amazing. It's completely restored, beautiful paint, beautiful interior. I mean, even the gauges, everything about it is just so nice. Got the nice little wind reflectors here in the corners. It's got mirrors left and right and in the center. Even got a little luggage rack. I keep forgetting these things aren't synchronized transmissions. You have to like take your time with them, put them in gear, come to a stop. These had a whopping 57 horsepower. <laughs> Four speed transmission. This one's got the steel wheels. Uh, Green on green, which is a great color combination. They call this color woodland green. It's just a nice driving little car. Original steering wheel. A lot of really clean components on this car. Well cared for. Let's see if we can sneak out of here without getting this mesh smashed on this car. So you gotta take your time with these things because you got no horsepower. So if you don't have enough time, to get out in front of somebody, you can kind of get in trouble. <laughs> no, but beautiful car. You'll see in the rest of the pictures that we take how nice it is. Right down to the, the, the beading around the fenders. It's like a vinyl beading. Shifts real good, especially for being non-synchronized. It's actually very tight. And everything was done. Tires are in great shape. You won't believe the engine when we show it to you. It's really clean looking. Not a whole lot of wiring involved in these things. I think the whole system has like a four fuses, four or five fuses, which is incredible. That's good though. It's less to go wrong, right? All right, we're gonna shoot up here, take some more pictures and more video and uh, go over the rest of the car with you. Here's a really nice 1953 MGTD Mark II, which is the competition edition. They made about 30,000 of these cars over the years, the MGTD, and only 1,710 of them were Mark II competition models. So what that means is it's rare, and they had a little bit more horsepower. It's got dual fuel pumps, a little larger carburetors. Um, I think the suspension's a little bit better. Just a few things. I mean, I don't know how much competition you're going to give with 57 horsepower. I think the other ones were like 54. <laughs> But it's cool for its age, that's what it was. This one's finished in woodland green with a green interior. All the chrome is beautiful, the wheels are refinished, the engine's completely gone over. It looks amazing, we'll show you pictures of that soon. Uh, but look at the grill, look at the headlights. Every little piece of this car was redone. It's got a couple little nicks and chips, I got one on the hood right there. but. And this one's a little bit expensive, but if you got this car for free and restored it, it'd be $40,000. It just costs so much nowadays to fix one up. So when you can get one like this, it's rust-free, straight as an arrow, restored, totally drivable. This thing drives amazing. Um, that's the way to get one, you know? Let the last guy waste all the money restoring it. But if you look at the interior, it's just really nice. I mean, these gauges got like a green tint to them. They're Jaeger gauges. All little knobs, buttons, switches work. It's even got a windshield wiper center mount. It's kind of funny. One motor with a rod attached to it. It's got the side mirrors, the fold down windshield with tilts, the little wind deflectors there. I mean, everything on this car is just beautiful. This is the best part right here. Here's your gas gauge. <laughs> you dip this in the tank. Ah, it's crazy, but this is what they use. They don't have a gas gauge, and it's right in here. So, eh, you know how much gas you got. You're not going to go long ways in one of these anyway, but really fun car. Look at those old cool black plates, too. I think those are just novelty plates. I think it has other plates with it, too, but pretty cool. 1,250cc, four-speed, cool little cruiser. Ready for the car show. So get your scarf out. All right, here's the power plant in the little MGTD. I think they call it an MGTD slash C, which is competition. 
Uh, look at that little engine, man. It's so cool. It's original matching number. There's a little plaque down there tells you. And it's got dual fuel pumps. That tells you it's competition. Carburetor's a little bit bigger, but it's just beautiful. I like how the hood folds up like that, like wings. So you can access everything. Look how easy it would be to do a tune-up. You can do it yourself. Some spark plugs. There's only four of them. They're all right there in your face. There's your fuse block. Wow, that's huge. Like I said, three or four fuses. <laughs> Little generator. It's a 12-volt, though, so it starts real good. Watch this. I'm going to fire this thing up for you. So you turn the key, pull this little button. Look at that, man. 1953. Fires right up. Purrs like a kitten. Not much to it. Pretty easy car to maintain. All the parts are available. There's a place called Moss Motors in uh, Santa Barbara. I got an ignition switch for this. Boom, it was here in no time, and you can get everything. Well, if you want a beautifully restored MGTD Mark II, come out to see us in Simi Valley, California. Uh, our phone number here is 818-591-1313. We're at 2158 Union Place in the city of Simi Valley. I'd be happy to show you this car. It's a pleasure. Thanks for watching.